Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I am going to show you exactly how to create a PayPal account, a fully functional PayPal account that you can use to send money, receive money and also withdraw your money right here in Nigeria. And to show you that this is something that is very possible, here is my PayPal account and you can see that I have been receiving funds with this PayPal account and I have also been withdrawing my funds on this paypal account so i have money in it right now so it's fully functional guys and so this is something that is very very possible in case you had any doubt first off if you try to create an account and you go to paypal.com you're going to be greeted with this page and you're just going to see a giant personal here no other options personal and if you hover over it you would see it simply says send payments nothing else this is pretty much what you can do with your Nigerian PayPal account, send payments. You can't receive payments, you can't withdraw your payments. So this is how not to do it from Nigeria because you will not have a fully functional account. I'm going to breeze through this. I'm going to try to make it really snappy because it's really a simple thing. Let's dive right into it. So what you need to do is to go to this URL precisely, paypal.com slash AE. AE stands for Arab Emirates, like you may know. So what we're trying to do here is create a PayPal account, but not with the Nigerian URL. Like it's going to be like we're creating a business or a PayPal account in the Arab Emirates. You get the idea, but you don't need a VPN for this, guys. Don't use a VPN. You're going to be fine. So what you need to do, make sure it's again, paypal.com slash AE. Once you click on this, you'd see already that there's there's more options. It's it's different from what you saw when it was the Nigerian homepage. So we have personal and under the personal, you can see we have send payments and then additionally, we have get paid so you can also accept um, as, as a business you can also accept online payments and and send invoices and sell internationally and all of that stuff so it's this is full fledged paypal right here so this is where, we, where we're going to be creating our account to simply click on sign up once it opens up you have two options to open a personal account and a business account i will advise that you take the business account option because this is going to give you more functionalities and most of you i i believe would want to um have more functionalities on your paypal so just go with the business account and then click on continue and once you click on continue you will be greeted with another page where you can start creating your account and you simply need uh to enter your email address now i have pulled up some of the information of my clients impute the email and make sure that this email is a functional email not some dumb me email or you know some weird thing that you don't have access to you're going to have to confirm your paypal account when you are done so i'm just going to enter a password now i have entered a password for my account um, next thing is to enter a business name and there so you don't have to use some fake name you can use a real nigerian name and your organization's name now, when it comes down to the phone number, you can also use your Nigerian phone number. Nigeria is actually listed here. The next thing we're going to do is enter an address. So also you can enter your Nigerian address right here. No problems at all. Like so, you get an option to choose what city in the UAE that you are operating from. I'm just going to choose Abu Dhabi and leave my account, leave my, my primary currency as US dollars as I want this account to be receiving mostly US dollars. Now you, all you need to do is check the agree checkbox and then agree and continue. The next page asks what kind of business you're, you're doing. So just click the, the, the drop down and find something close to what you're doing. And here it says product or service keyword. So I can just simply say um, media movies. Okay. I think this relates more to it. So I'm just going to select this option. Yes, they do have a website and I am going to copy that and click on continue. Now, once you impute your date of birth, you are going to be asked to select your nationality. Now, don't forget, you don't have to lie about anything here. You can say you are from Nigeria. You can see the option Nigeria is also here. So select the option Nigeria, Nigeria as your nationality. Do not forget what it's a save. We are where you're a Nigerian person who is operating from the UAE. You understand what I mean? So um, because if you don't select Nigeria, you're going to need to update your identity a document to prove your identity and if you upload a, a, a document that is not 
the country that you say you're from, then it flags, it gives, it gives a red flag. So, so I'm going to use a passport, provide the number of the passport, which I have here, and I'm going to put that in and that is about it. Okay, there is another option here to put in your current residential address. I'm going to say same as organization's address and then I click on submit. That's it guys. And you can see right here that the account has been created and you can request funds and send funds. And if you go to your summary, you can link your debit or credit card and with your card, you can start to actually withdraw your money to your account. So, but we need to confirm our email address. That's the reason why I said you need to have a functional email address. That's it. And then we confirm and we are back to the home page and if you go to summary you will see the option for co for confirm email will be gone so guys that's it this account is ready to start receiving funds now there are some other things you can do like linking a card uh, which i'm going to create another video for because i don't want this video to go on for too long um there's also some other setup like you can see here it says finish setting up your account these are things you can actually walk through yourself you know to remove some limitations on your account like set up um, how much money comes into your account monthly so that paypal can be able to tra track your activities and be sure that you are not engaging in any fraud fraudulent activities for instance if you say you earn a certain amount of money you expect a certain amount of money monthly if your business receives more than that then they will be like okay something is fishy you know so i'm going to walk you through all of that in another video but this is just to create the account and really we, if you have done this if you followed me up to this point you actually have a functional paypal account that can receive money you can you have no fear you can start receiving money with this account whenever you link your card you can actually withdraw so you have a fully functional account and also i need to mention again do not use a vpn to run this you saw i did not open any vpns i just went to my browser but all you need to do is every time you log on to this account make sure that you take you go to the url paypal.com slash ae because this is the url that you use to create the account don't forget that so congratulations on opening your paypal account guys and i will see you in the next video take care now bye